truly the family of humankind in this room. We're all family. Just some a little more distant than others, but we're all cousins, and we're all sisters and brothers. Um, but I was thinking of human rights as I was on Hagen building, we use the expression today, less is more. That was a time of more is more. Um, there had been an earthquake during the reign of the Emperor Augustus. And it damaged some of the buildings, the statuary on the Acropolis in Greece. And he actually sends architects to try to fix them. We know there had been statuary on the stairs. There was a lot on the building itself. And that's been taken down. Then we get into a history. And this was my husband had mentioned the other day about religion and intolerance. There's a water system that goes under and out. That destroys part of the foundation of the Parthenon. It was turned into an early Christian church, more damage. It was then turned into a mosque. And for those who don't know, there's still remnants of the minaret. And I've actually climbed the staircase within the Parthenon. And it helps you can go and see the roof that way and the construction. You have Lord Elgin during certain time periods that you're having is on green sustainability. And that was a problem for the Parthenon because there's a lot of acid rain in Athens that further destroyed the building. What's happened now is that there's been a new museum on the Acropolis. And I, the Parthenon had a roof. It had two stories within. The sculpture was all painted, or most of it, and there was a lot of statuary within. Well, how does the Parthenon itself relate to human rights? There were a number of Greek and Persian wars. And during one of them, as a nation at that point, they were truly intolerant of others. Uh, example, they're artists. They often chopped off the legs so that they could run away. And they would be truly a captive audience. They were not concerned with that of sorts of Athens at the time. And he wanted to construct the Parthenon to symbolize what was important about Athens. He called it a school for Athens, a school for Greece. And he says he wants a building that exemplifies refinement without extravagance.